Hey there. So I just got home. It's like 10 o'clock in the evening. So it was a super long day, but a really good day. And I wanted to take a moment because I realized that I haven't really given you a very good update on some really cool things that have been developing over the last few months. So I'm going to kind of start with the most recent and work my way in some ways backwards. So one thing that I'm really excited about is that you're going to start seeing new content from Wise Economy Workshop coming out starting in April. So we've got new videos, we've got new um, content of different kinds of lengths and different kinds of topics, sort of reintroducing what the Wise Economy Workshop and what my work has really been about for all of this time. So that's going to start in April. And uh, so I hope you'll be tuning into that. Uh, we'll be primarily focusing on this newsletter, on TikTok, and on LinkedIn. So you'll find that new content, that new information, and kind of that reintroduction in all of those places, maybe a few of the other ones as well. I've got a new, very young team, very uh, seeing everything through new eyes kind of team that I've loved working with and I'll be introducing you to them as we go along. So that's one thing. The second thing, if you're a subscriber to the Wise Economy Workshop newsletter, which is called Future Here Now, that on Monday will introduce a piece from a new book that I'm working on. And that new book has one of the best titles I think I've come up with. And the title is Don't Screw Up Your Program. That book is going to be, is being designed for pretty much anybody who's in charge of running a program, whether it's a grant, or it's an initiative within your company, or it's a competitive project, any, any kind of program, this book goes through in very plain terms, very kind of down to brass text. A lot of the things that I wish people who were developing programs often knew. So, if you want to get a sneak preview of the book, that'll be in Monday's Future Here and Now newsletter, and you can learn about that at wiseeconomy.substack.com, wiseeconomy.substack.com. So that's the second thing. I think that book's going to be done somewhere April-ish, might drag into May if we, you know, um, really, really put the muscle into it. Um, but look for that to be coming out soon in all of the places where you get books, whether it's print or digital. Um, third thing that I wanted you to know about is we are in the process of putting together, and we in this case means myself and my friends at Trump House, are putting together a, an event called Scale Up Week that's going to be focused on minority, black, disadvantaged entrepreneurs and trying to put the systems in place around them to help them grow and scale. Right now, we're trying to do the first one in Cincinnati. We are still in very, very early stages on it, so I don't want to say too much because things can still change a lot at this point, but Scale Up Week is coming. And after it comes the first time, hopefully in Cincinnati, it might be available to come to a community near you. Um, so stay tuned for that. And the last thing I wanted to tell you is that, again, as part of, of building out that trap house ecosystem of comprehensive support for entrepreneurs and small business owners who are coming from more disadvantaged, under-resourced, backgrounds, we're standing up a new nonprofit, which is called the Goodhood Foundation, and I will be in charge of getting that off the ground. 
Now, there's lots of foundations out there, and if you've been around me for a while, you know the foundations are not, and nonprofits are are not always the way that I want to solve problems. But we saw that there was a need for a particular kind of nonprofit, one that can work as a conduit for getting resources into the hands of folks who are on the ground in communities in black and minority led organizations and black and minority owned businesses that are doing work that if they were a nonprofit, they'd be able to get grant funding. So we're really looking for Goodhood Foundation to bridge the gap between the social impact world and the for-profit world. And I'm super excited to see where we're going with that. So that's just a few of the things I've been working on when I haven't been um, writing for Future Here Now and doing all of the other work. And I am really excited about where all of those initiatives are going over the next few months. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Thanks. And I, as I've often said, I think we can go get them. See ya.